On second down, here's Ryan with pressure. Ryan going deep for Julio Jones. He has got it. Oh, no, incomplete. He did not come down with it. Jair Alexander matched up with Jones. And the pass was there. Good route by Julio Jones. But watch Alexander, number 23 in green. See how he fights all the way through? Remember, what do you have to do, Kevin? You have to complete the process of the catch. And he jars it free at the end. Now, what is happening here? Because the ruling was incomplete, but I guess someone else must have said complete because the Falcons rush up to the line where Jones, you know, supposedly caught that ball. Well, let's take a look here because, look, Alexander has a hand on the football, so he doesn't have firm possession of it as he goes to the complete pass. The ruling on the field stands. Whoa! Okay. Green Bay will be charged with the first team timeout. The standard for the season has been what is called on the field, and they called it a complete pass on the field. I disagree with the call because, to me, the ball was moving throughout the process. The ball is never really secured by Julio Jones, and he was pulled out at the end, but yet they called it complete. That's unbelievable. We'll check in with Dean Blandino in a second because the Falcons are up to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, initially, I think I said complete, but incomplete, it was... That's surprising. And the Packers, we just get going here. And Joe Philbin uses a challenge. And now we have a moment. Let's go to Dean Blandino. Dean, what did you see on this play? I'm with you guys. To me, that was an incomplete pass. First down. Ryan has time. Going to sling it out there to Jones, who is going to get to the end zone. It's a touchdown. So Jones coming in, a little shallow cross, and look at that. The Packers end up picking themselves off. Kenny Clark, number 97, dropped from his nose tackle position into coverage and actually bounced the linebacker off of the coverage of Julio Jones. And he doesn't need much space to make catches. You give him that much room, it turns into touchdowns. Quite the start for the Falcons on the opening drive. Two controversial catches, two challenges by the Packers that were wrong. And Julio Jones with three early catches for 63 yards after being held under 20 yards last week. And so the Falcons go down the field on their opening drive. Julio Jones with a touchdown and finds a Julio fan to give it to. Falcons 7-0 early. Here's Ryan on the fake. That's time. Ryan stands in. Flag comes in from the secondary as a throw to Jones is incomplete but I'm curious Dan Quinn his thinking right now about what he's seeing pass, holding number 37 defense five yard penalty automatic first down in the <laughs> well that is interesting to see clearly how they responded on the first drive as Julio Jones makes his fourth catch of the day and Pam bringing them here the day early to get them acclimated that's a great point and I think they did their walkthrough over at City Stadium, which used to be the home field of the Green Bay back. Here's Ryan looking to throw, going deep, going for Julio Jones. He makes the catch. Julio Jones has it down to the 13-yard line for Atlanta. There's a flag back around where Matt Ryan ended the play but how about Matt Ryan reading the one-on-one -on -one coverage and press from the rookie and going to his number one target downfield in Julio Jones Jones tracks it well well thrown football for the big completion but there's a flag back where Matt Ryan threw the football yeah Walt Coleman's mic did not work on that particular play I think he called the hands to the face on Atlanta so all that for nothing and it's coming all the way back so boy they just Doing it again. So is everybody else. Ryan's going to take advantage. He's got Julio Jones deep, and he can't get there. Incomplete. He had a step on Jair Alexander, but Jones cannot catch up to it, and Atlanta will have to punt it away. I see Jair Alexander taking in the crowd noise and feeling like this imagination, but if this ball's well thrown, he's beat. I mean, you know, I, I understand being excited. I get it. You're a rookie. You're happy. Your team's doing well. But that ball's thrown in the right. Ryan stands in, and he's got a completion of Julio Jones. Yard shot of a first down. Game break with Kirk. Devontae Freeman was healthy. Let's right. face it. Freeman's been out all year. Falcons get it. 
to the end zone of Julio Jones for the touchdown. Second on the game for Julio. And that's part of the learning experience for Jair Alexander's having a very nice rookie season. Look at the cushion he gives him. And then he backs off just enough for space. And when you're going to go for the football, if you don't come up with it, Secretary's just going to take it and turn upfield into the end zone. He did a nice job with too much cushion, but he did a nice job initially not backing off. And then when he took that one drop step, that was just enough space to fit, fit that ball in. Extra point, uh, doinks off and through for Matt Bryant. And so the Falcons have their first point since the opening drive touchdown. Both of those have got Julio Jones. This one from 12 yards out, but it's still Green Bay by 20. And a touchdown that was back in 2014. Today he was quiet for the middle of the game, but still his first two touchdown game of the year. Straight ahead, thumping running inside. That time he tries to make the block his bowl over, but does his job enough time to give Ryan the connection to Julio Jones. Will be a little shy of a first down. Now, do you get a check mark for the block if you're Brian Hill? On that one, he got flattened on the play, but the defender didn't get there. And that allowed Matt Ryan to make that connection right there to Julio Jones. And one thing you notice about this Atlanta team, Kevin, they have not quit fighting in this game. You they talked have, about that. You raised that question. They had a really bad stretch there, but they've gotten off the mat now. They're continuing to battle. Ryan thinking end zone, going end zone. Can he get it left to Jones? No, incomplete. It was Breland who was on the coverage. And a third and one. Most consecutive seasons with 1,400 plus receiving yards. Julio Jones now has five. It's the most ever. And you know, in each of those 1,400 yard seasons, he's caught over 80 passes in each one of them. <laughs> if I, I, got, I got to drop some of those pounds that, that, that make me a real good box out guy. <laughs> Second down, Ryan. Throw and in and out of the hands of Jones. Julio's got seven for 98, two touchdowns today. Couldn't hang on there with 37 seconds to go. The State Farm game break is next, and then, of course, Eagles and Cowboys monster game on Fox. And we may have bonus coverage of the Browns and Panthers. Panthers down six. They've got the ball with a minute left. They're about to lose their fifth straight, and they, unless they pull off a last-minute comeback, feel good for that man, Joe Philbin. So his friend Mike McCarthy get fired this week, interim coach, former head coach of the Dolphins, and he's about to get a win. Ryan throws complete. With who? Green Bay will take a knee, and that's that. All happy at Lambeau with a 34 to 20 win. For the Packers over the Falcons, Joe Philbin gets a win as the interim head coach.